how to create a Google account. Good day folks and welcome to the channel. If you do not have a Google account, we are going to show you how to create one. So the first thing you want to do is to jump into any browser and it really doesn't make a difference which browser you're in. If you're using Google Chrome, then it makes it just a tad easier, but really there's no difference. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to the right hand side and you will see that there is my profile picture and you can click on that. Now there's a big one and a small one. Now the small one on the bottom and the big one on the top, you can do exactly the same things with. So we're going to click on any one of them and you will see that there is a more accounts over here. This tab you can see over here, it says add another account and you can tap on that. Now it's going to bring you to this window where you can now create a new account. So instead of entering something here, we are going to tap on create account, which is at the bottom. And you can now create a, an account for your own personal use. You can create a Google account for your child or for your work or your business. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to create for my personal use. And right over here, you get to put in your first name. We're going to make this first name, Bob. And the second name, we are going to make the builder. We can now click on next. You can now enter your birth date, so your month, your day, and then your year. We are then going to select our gender. So you have the options between female, male, rather not say, and custom. If you tap on custom, you will have the option to enter in your specific gender. And then you can also enter in if you want to be referred to as female, male, or other. Right now, I'm going to just keep it at mail and we are going to tap on next. Now we get to the username part and here you can start putting in a username. So we're going to go ahead and say Bob the Boulder and we're going to see if it's available. Now, once you tap next, it'll tell you if it's available or not. If it's not, it says this username isn't allowed try again. So we're going to try and put in a different variation or we're going to add some numbers or we're going to add some full stops or whatever the case may be. The next thing you'll want to do is enter a password and this password should be at least eight letters, symbols and numbers. So we're going to enter a password. We also have to confirm that password and then we're going to tap on next. The next thing you'll have to do is confirm that you're not a robot and enter your phone number as well as your country's dialing code. If you are a robot, stop what you're doing right now and turn around. The next thing you want to do is enter a recovery address. This means if you get locked out of your account, this recovery address will help you to get back in. So for security purposes, we do not want to click on the skip button. We want to enter a recovery email address here. The next thing you need to do here is add a phone number. And again, you can skip this step, but it is for account security. So we want to go ahead and enter a phone number and then hit next. All right. So now we can review our account info over here. It says Bob the Builder. That's great. Also, it suggested an email username. So that's tbob32211. I like that very much. You can go ahead now and tap on next. You will have to read through your privacy terms and you have some more options. There are a few privacy terms here. You can also toggle on either to save the web and app activity in the Google account or you can opt to not have it saved. One of the other things is showing personalized ads or show ads that are not personalized. YouTube history will also now be saved to your Google account or you can toggle that to not be safe to your Google account. You can now have these settings applied whenever you sign into your Google account. And you can also have occasional reminders about these settings if you want to have that on. When you're done, you can tap on I agree. Now you will be asked if you want to continue in a new Chrome profile. If you want to, you can say, OK, it'll open up a new window. If you don't, you can say no, thank you. And it'll just stay in this window over here. You can now opt to sync all your bookmarks, your autofill, extensions, history, and all your other features to any other device. You can just tap on turn on sync, 
or you can say no thank you if you want to understand a little bit more about it you can tap on the settings and you can go in and define it a little bit better for now we're going to say no thank you and now we can customize this profile so it says bob we can change this to whatever it is that we would like to as a display name and we can then also choose a color as you can see as i'm going through here it is now changing the border colors and we can go ahead once we're done we can tap on done and you now are the proud new owner of a google account i hope you enjoyed the video if it was valuable drop us a like don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section and we'll see you in another awesome video Bye bye